Hello listeners, thanks for watching. My name is Chelsea, not to be confused with Chelsea or Shelly, it's Chelsea. Sometimes it's really hard to take a good photo depending on where you are. Position of your photo is really important because you want to have the right angle and you want to make sure that you're not looking up or down too much or that it doesn't catch anything un, un, um, that you don't catch anything, that you don't catch anything ugly. Sometimes that works better when you have an up angle versus a down angle. I only take pictures in really good lighting. For instance, I'm filming this show at my bathroom sink in my hotel room. Speaking of hotel rooms, I only stay in hotels that have suites. Otherwise, I don't stay there. When going out of town, you want to make sure that you eat right even though you're out of town. And sometimes it's hard to find a local Chick-fil-A or what you normally go to and you end up someplace like Applebee's or or something and um, if they don't have the same sort of wraps that you're used to it'll sort of throw off your diet and your situation so just be careful also you want to make sure to only put the do not disturb sign on your door if you're leaving no I mean if you're staying because if you're leaving you want to make sure to take it off so that they'll clean everything if there is ever a problem with the refrigerator or microwave, whatever you're using, usually you can call the front desk and they can send up someone for maintenance or whatever. But make sure you have something to do and you've got somewhere to go because it can get real awkward if you're in the room and the maintenance guy comes in and he's just, you know, trying to fix what you need fixed and you're like trying to watch TV or your hair or something. It's really important to have a drinking buddy if you're gonna go drinking, unless you don't have anybody that you know in the city and then you can just do it alone. Then maybe you might find a drinking buddy that way. No matter what, you wanna make sure that it's close by, meaning the bar downstairs. If the hotel doesn't have a bar in its lobby, it's not worth staying there. Similarly, if a hotel doesn't have HBO, it's not worth staying there. If a hotel doesn't have room service, it's not worth staying there. If a hotel has one of those cards that says if you hang up your stuff, then they won't replace it for eco-friendly reasons, it's not worth staying there. If a hotel has a free breakfast, usually people are really excited about that. I find that a distraction and ultimately a ultimately like dangling candy in front of the baby and then you'll want to eat breakfast and ultimately if you want to be the best you can be you don't need to eat breakfast because it's just an extra meal so you should probably not eat breakfast at a hotel if they have it which wouldn't be a problem if you stay at the correct hotel unless it's like a fancy breakfast and then if you can go and get mimosas then it's fine why is it called a mimosa? It's champagne and orange juice? I've never thought about that before. Anyway, they're really good. You should try them. And you don't know how much you're drinking, so it can go fast. It's only worth staying at a hotel that has a pool that is outside versus inside because ultimately you're not really going to be swimming. The whole point is to be able to lay out by a body of water. So if your pool is indoors, you shouldn't stay there. When making your plans to go back home, you want to make sure that you have a car set up to take you to the airport because you don't want to have to lug everything yourself. You want to make sure that there's someone from one door to the next door that will help you with your things. Always carry some sort of extra hairbands and bobby pins with you because when you're traveling you don't want to have to have your hair down. Also, in order to keep your hair as natural as possibly can being dyed, then you have to wash it less and that can be a really good excuse to go traveling because you cannot wash your hair on your travel day. 
Thanks for watching, listeners. I will get back to you as soon as I can with the next episode, with whatever I want to talk about. Peace. This is the clavicle. It's important for selfies. <laughs>